For traders that have emailed and asked, the links for the free downloads are in the description box below. Just click on the link or copy and paste and put that in your browser. The four-step method to high performance trading and the seven-step daily routine for high performance traders create the rituals, the mindset, and the winning attitude to master the markets. Bulletproof yourself with your daily routine and your habits. Force yourself to be getting better, 1% better every single day. How good can you get, traders? Again, the free downloads, the links are down below. They're both free courses. Let's get started. Good day, traders. Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Uh, just going to review uh, gold short from this morning and also talk about day one's Monday trades in the other instruments this morning and just reviewing my process on day one, Monday, day one. Now I'm in the North American hemisphere after obviously moving overseas and slowly getting settled. And so waking up this morning, uh, obviously uh, London had moved in several instruments, but I'll talk about the process coming back to understanding the day count, but also beginning the new week. So last week on gold, we had Tuesday, Wednesday, putting in the low of the week. I talked about a break of structure inside. Now that's there's two types uh, for me against everything's about simplicity. I don't try to make anything complicated because I know there's traders who send me all these things about intraday liquidity runs and all these things about gap fills and everything. And it's just I, I'm coming back and I'm looking to trade one hour per session per day, whether that's Asia, London or New York, wherever you're at in the globe. I use the day count to establish my thesis as to which instrument may be set up for a high of day short, a low of day, long, or a trend trade if I'm inside. It's pretty much, that's the simple model. Then there are three day setups or three level setups. And they are the ones that we talked about in the last video in terms of the big money setups. They're the ones that will go vertical. And we talked about this. We saw that on uh, last Wednesday on several instruments, but we had some large moves Thursday and Friday. But coming back to starting the count again. So the first day for longs was on Thursday because that was the first day that broke a daily high. So this break in structure on the inside on Wednesday, which became a vertical move, we talked about three levels of drop, the low being put in place, the move long in London back inside of the double zero box, the higher high and then the three pushes down into the quarter retracement which was into the london longs 25 pips below the box new york open for an explosive vertical move which begins our new day count back on the upside as soon as they break the high on thursday of the previous day's high which went back to the high of the week so we had a retest of the high of the week now just before I forget, I have a trader who has generously donated a link, which is free for download, for the previous day's high and low. I, as I have stated before, I would gladly share this link with everybody, uh, but I my indicator itself is a locked indicator. I cannot open it up or share it, but this trader has generously shared this. It, I'll provide the link down below in the description box. and. Really thankful to this particular trader for doing that. And if if you would like to donate for his generosity, feel free to do so. Fantastic indicator. This will replace uh, any poor quality ones that you may be struggling to use or find. As, a, as I have stated, I would gladly share mine, but I am unable to unlock and share that. So thank you again. That link is down below in the description box. So coming back to the gold, when we break the high and we are now potentially reversing we've gone back to the high of the week when this u.s market comes down and puts three pushes in before reversing on the friday this becomes our new higher low on the inside now we talked about this break in structure you'll notice coincides with not only that breakout level but the new low of the day on the inside so higher highs higher lows this market put three pushes in a higher high a break in structure on the inside and then a long trade on friday in asia which we we talked about 
And we talked about the 100 pip boxes. They came down into that breakout trade, found support at 50, put a low in place. This becomes our higher low. Now this reversal can also give us a reference point. This zone is our higher low. Now, as we make higher highs and higher lows, we potentially may be looking now in that new 100 pip box for a low to be put in place depending on how the market trades. So on Friday, we revisited the high of the week. As we talked about, we saw the market go up three levels, hold that volume up high in the third level at the high of the day, the high of the week, before reversing in that last hour of London prior to the US 12 candle window. And the market came down into the breakout traders from Asia, which again, look at your 100 pip box. Note, they are down in level one between zero and 25. We talked about this in a previous video, two or three videos ago, understanding the 100 pip box specific to the timings, not just at any time, specific to the timings. Level one is for buying, level three, level four, 50 to 75, 75 to double zeros is the level for selling, the top of the box and the bottom of the box. So today when the market opens up, we are inside the high and the low of Friday. The market comes down in Asia. The market comes down in Asia. So that's our first clue. It's going down. But then it puts a low in place prior to the Europe window. They come down for, I'll zoom in on this because I want traders to, to do the count again. This is a 15 minute chart. One, two, three bars. That's a one, two, three. The same as the day count, one, two, three. So everything is fractal. Three sessions, come back, let's look at this again. US, Asia, London. US comes down, we have a London high, US comes down and puts a low in place. London high, US low, Asia is inside. One session, two sessions, three sessions. Europe opens with a one, two, three down to the low and engulfment coming off of level one at our higher high now, sorry, our higher low. So the US puts a low in, this can become our new low of the day, correct? Higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, our new low of the day. The market trades down into our low of the day with a W bottom reversal specifically in level one for a trade off of 50 going vertical for a hundred pips into traders who were short from the London end of the London session on Friday. Again, we're in a new 100 pip box. So the market proceeds to go higher. We have one push, two pushes, but now pay attention to this. As it goes higher, what they're actually doing is putting a low in place. This is a peak formation low. They trade back into the peak formation low before going vertical through the high of the week. Now, my thesis is this. I wait for the first hour to put a high and a low in place. As this is going higher, I cannot short this. I do not have a break in structure. I need a break in structure, at least on the smaller time frame for a session trade. Now we'll look at the Aussie dollar as one trader asked a great question and we'll review that as well. Now when the market comes up in that first hour, the first 30 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes, 15 minutes in the false direction, 25 pips above the double zeros. We've talked about 25 to 50 pips above the double zero box. 25 tends to be the false break. They put a high in place. They pin the high in the second 15 minute bar before coming down and breaking structure, breaking structure on the inside. They break the higher low. Now we have a break in structure. 
Now I'm thinking second hour trade setup, but I need the market to go vertical for that A top formation back up into the high for my trade to be above double zeros targeting where that third level of rise began. Coming back to the original 15 minute chart, one push, two push, three pushes to the high. That's the third level of rise coming off of 50. Peak formation lows. That means that if I trade down, I don't have a break in structure on this larger time frame. I need to be cognizant of the fact that this trade may fail as these are peak formation lows. Puts a low in place. The market trades back into the low on a day one going vertical through the high of the week. This is the day one runner that if I get a session trade, I'm going to take the money and get off the screen because this market, as we can see now, may revisit going back up because they are not done expanding the range on day one. So now, thesis being that this high is locked in place, one push, two push, three pushes to the high, the pin is my death candle. Pin, death candle, they creep back up into the high first 15 minutes of the second hour. So again, understanding this time compression, 15 minutes to the high, the market holds that consolidation into the peak formation as it's breaking down. I'm in the trade with my one bar stop, targeting a 50 pip move back down into these higher lows, into the block where 50 began the third level of rise. Straightforward, zero stress. Peak formations are up in the first hour, 25 pips above the double zeros. They trade back into that level. So again, traders that will often ask, again, why didn't you get in at 25, all these things. I want this to be locked in. The longer that, as this 15 minute bar closes, if this is going to accelerate, I'm in the trade as it's about to accelerate. I'm not getting in front of it going back into the high. At this stage, this could still go parabolic. So that's my approach. Other traders want to get in or put a starter in at the numbers. That's entirely their choice. But I like to see it break down after going into the peak formation. That to me is where I have the confidence again to add into a position as it's accelerating. And we talked about breakout candles. The breakout candle, once it comes back into that breakout candle, which is above double zeros, I'm all done. It breaks down, I'm at break even. When it breaks the low, we'll go to break even. And then we're holding on and letting that market go fulfill its trade destiny. Day one, day one, high of the week, high of the, high of the session, high of the day, and 25 pips above the double zeros, a 50 pip target because we have peak formation lows locking in 50. We don't have a break in structure inside other than for the session. We don't have a larger time frame break in structure, so this is a session trade. Now, an excellent observation from a trader uh, we talked about day one was on Friday on the Aussie dollar. So again, similar setup, they came down uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, locking in the low of the week. Inside bar on Thursday, sorry, not an inside bar, but a short squeeze back into the low on Thursday. They break. Friday, sorry, it wasn't inside bar. Uh, they broke the high on Friday of Thursday's high. That's day one. Day one longs are in the market on Thursday. We have day two longs in the market today. Now, as I mentioned to this trader, prior to the US session, just as the US session was opening, do not get caught shorting. We'll blow this up. Do not get caught shorting this market until it breaks out of the high. This market needs to break the high in order to short it. So any traders who got caught shorting this, you'll notice the same peak formations below 75 heading into the session. These are peak formation lows. So this is now potentially putting in higher lows that are going to act as support for a market that can still go higher on day one. This is day two longs, 
but the first day of the trading week. So this market could still end up being a short trade, but I need it to break out and either catch longs up high, double zeros possibly, a double zero trade back down to 20, uh, 75, maybe even down to 50. But this still could be a trade that doesn't eventuate until tomorrow. Uh, so again, this is not a trade inside for me. These are inside highs. This market is still going, making higher highs and higher lows and no break in structure on the inside. These are peak formation lows as opposed to a market that made three pushes and broke out, gave me a break in structure within the session in that first hour. So you'll notice the gain, this market trades into the peak formation lows, the W formation, and could still end up rolling over and failing. But this inside is not a trade. We now have revisited the high, although just minorly, but there is still no indication of a short trade setup on this pair for me. S&P, uh, again, another trader commented to, uh, they were looking for a day, possibly a day three short on Monday. And one of the key things with this is that day one, there are no, there is no break in structure on any time frame. And one of the key things that will give you an indication of a break in structure is whether or not there is a break in a previous day's high and low. So we come on Thursday, sorry, Wednesday. I'll just zoom in on this. This is the first day that a previous day's high or low is broken. Now there's a break in structure on the inside on the day, which is totally fine in terms of trading that during the session. Obviously, low of the week, we had the three pushes, but the daily count we don't have a, day, a, a break in structure until that high is broken on the higher time frames. So we have day one longs in the market on Wednesday, day two longs on the market on Thursday, day three longs, except this is not a false break. This is a trend trade and a reset on Friday. Sorry, Thursday. We'll just color in our... So traders have asked, can you go through the, the the reset? The reset can happen on any day. In these peak formations, we have uh, day one longs in the market. Day two longs, sorry. So our first day was on Wednesday. That was the first break of a daily high. Thursday was the second day longs, but we had peak formation reset, which begins the count again. So this becomes our day one. Day two is a runner. Day two is a runner on Friday. Day three breaks out and continues to go higher. This is still a trending market. We have a micro trend line, which does not get broken until the US session. And the first thing to expect with a micro trend line break, this is an up market. The first thing to expect is a retest of the high. This market is still trending. There are no short trade, even considerations for me on anything on this market. And the same would apply on the NASDAQ. So again, zooming in on the NASDAQ, peak formation reset on Thursday, large W, day two runner. So we just do the same thing. We get a micro trend line break or touch today. No break in structure anywhere. This is longs only on both S&P and NASDAQ in the New York session. A couple of traders asked me to review the euro and the pound. So again, we come back to our previous week. We, we talked about this on the weekend. How did the week close? We, we closed the week as an up week, a green week after being in a trading range. So the market opened down here, closed up on Friday. We're in a, an up week, a green week. It broke the previous two weeks high. Now we have our first green week. If the market closed as a green week, what I would be looking for if there is no break of a high or a low is for the market in an up week to be making higher highs and higher lows. We do not get the higher high, but we potentially now have a higher low on the Europe chart. Market opens on a gap. Up at double zeros inside of the high, you'll notice that gap break right off the bat for traders who did not take in the money and they held it over the weekend. 
They wake up and they're stopped out either with a loss or a break even. The market then proceeds down into between 50 and 75 and puts in a W formation. We get a break in structure on the inside and a creeping trend down into the open of the Europe session. Where is our target? Our target, as we have talked about over and over again, is follow the money. A market that's in a first green week, higher highs, and we've just traded out of the low. This is a market that is making higher highs and higher lows. We are looking for the trend trade back through the high of the week. Low of the day, high of the week. Coming into the U.S. session, traders now who are trading, we've got our little M structure that broke down in the gap time. Traded back up one, two, three, up into 50. So again, a session, a session scalp if traders were going to take this for 25 or more depending on how that market traded back into the breakout but you're trading down low in a market that's making higher highs and higher lows so point being is that if you take this trade down low even though it's broken out your thesis might be that it's going to come all the way down we don't have a break in structure in the trend itself we only have a break in structure at the high of the day and now we're down low on the third level this is a scalp, a session scalp. Now this market could continue to break down, but the more this breaks down, we could see a day two trend trade go back to the high, creeping trend down into the breakout. This could become order flow later in the session or into the next day. So again, a session scalp, understand that you're selling this down low in an up market into the breakout. Pound, again, sort of similar. We had our day one on the Wednesday, just double change our week on here. So we had our low of the week on Wednesday. That was our reversal day. Day one longs on Thursday. That's the first day that they break the high. Day one longs, the market trades back down and puts a low in place before going vertical on Friday. Now for the hindsight specialists out there, understand that we're looking at this today. So when this market goes higher on Friday, that's not me being hindsight. That's me using this to assess the trade opportunity today for the session that I'm available to trade in. We have a market that breaks the high. That's our day one longs. It puts a low in place on Thursday, this now becomes our day one for the new three levels. Day one, day two longs, day two longs. Today, Monday, first day of the week, we have day three longs in the market and we now have higher lows and retesting the high. Is this market going to give us a sell high opportunity? At this stage, I, I don't see that just yet. This market is still making higher highs and higher lows. We might get something later at the end of a 12 candle window. We would need a middle structure for at least a 25 pip. Reversal trade scalp, but again, we're on day one. This is an example right now of a day one runner where the first hour maybe traders got 25, but you can see the difference in the price action in a market that's going up as opposed to having a vertical move as we saw with London traders. Again, a low put in place. Look at your sessions. High on Friday in London. A low put in place on Friday in the U.S. session in an upward moving market. The market comes down, opens on a gap, creeps down to zero into the Europe London open. It breaks the high on the inside. There's our break of structure on the inside for the trend trade, the continuation trend trade back through the high of the week on day one, our day one runner. First session puts in the low. Asia is in consolidation. Europe London continues to move higher. The high is not yet in place on this pair. 
no break in structure. It is still making higher highs and higher lows. The game West Texas. So day one was on our Friday, day one longs. This is on the daily count. We had our reversal come off on Thursday, Thursday at the previous day's low, low of the week. Day one longs on Friday. Day two longs, day two longs on Monday. This market is still in a day one breakout. Now, again, for traders who have asked about different numbers, you're going to have some variations between some of the indexes and some of the commodities, but the charts are the same. Understand the the setups, because then whatever doesn't matter on your chart, different numbers, it's all the same. You're going to have a setup or you're not going to have a setup. But focus on the understanding of the high and the low, because as we go higher now, markets making higher highs, it comes down and puts a low in place. These peak formation lows become our higher lows on the way up, even on the inside. So again, daily levels can show us break in structures, but we also can have higher lows trading for for continuation trades in sessions, knowing that so you're not wanting to counter trend into a market that is now in a new cycle. So we're making higher highs. The market comes down in Asia, creeping trend down into Friday's breakout from the US session. So if you're trading London today, what a massive opportunity for a trend trade on oil today. Just a fantastic, great trend trade at the low of the day. This is now our new low of the day tomorrow as it stands now. They traded down into that low and again, you'll notice all the trap volume for some of these traders who just still not seeing it. The market goes down and then goes into consolidation. All the volume is trapped down low. And what time does it move at? 15 minutes that last hour prior of Asia prior to Europe opening and then bang, Europe opened straight up. A little pullback at the high of the day. A pin hammer for the continuation. Again, we'll just zoom in on that. Pin hammer for the continuation in the London session back through the high of Friday and then knowing that the high of the week, just zoom in a bit, the high of the week, a, a previous peak formation highs from Tuesday last week were sitting there waiting to be taken out in a market that's making higher highs and higher lows. We'd want to be looking for the continuation trade in that US session. Remember what I said last day, write this down. A market that goes sideways without taking out the higher the low is getting ready for an explosive move. We'll just zoom in on that again. Market goes sideways without taking out the overall high. These highs are inside. We're coming back. We're reversing now. We're going back to the high of the previous week's highs. It's inside in consolidation for an explosive opportunity, second 15 minutes of the US 12 candle window to continue the move. This move, this trade, even if you just took that 15 minute trade, okay, 87.50 to 88.25, 75 pips, that's a low stress, a low stress trade setup. With the trend, this is a low stress trade setup. There's no heat on this trade. It's a one bar stop, obviously on a smaller time frame. If you have your thesis in place, you can finesse that entry get a better fill, a tighter stop, and also scale in. Scale into the trade. These trades have a lot of juice behind them. There's no reason for this to reverse as of yet at the session timing window. So hopefully that makes sense, traders. Again, that free indicator. Thank you for your generosity in sharing this. I'll put the link below in the description box. Previous day's high and low, great indicator. Download it, use it. This indicator alone can give you pretty much as much information as you can digest developing your thesis in the trade. We're going to go more in depth into that this week because traders are often getting fixated on only paying attention to one side and, and after a day or two forgetting about these levels and they are very significant in understanding where the session trade opportunities lie. So have a great day traders. Start the week off strong. 
We're going to get plenty of movement. We are in some seriously opportunistic market environments at the moment. Master your craft. It's only going to continue. Have a great week and may the markets go with you.